Wizards of the Coast made an announcement yesterday about Double Masters VIP packs that ignited rage in the player base and may actually lead to them getting sued. <music> Greetings! Owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles, today I bring you the story of a debacle that's pretty much on the level of the Mythic Edition mess up that they did in the past that actually still has a class action lawsuit winding its way through the courts. Now, I am no lawyer and all I'm going to be sharing here with you is my opinions. However, I do believe that there is a strong case to nail wizards for false advertising when it comes to Double Masters VIP packs. So, let's take a look at the announcement that Wizards of the Coast made, and I guess I'm gonna take a look because I'm just gonna read it to you. I'm not gonna bother putting this up on the screen, although there's something else I will put up on the screen a little bit later. So, Wizards says, Double Masters releases on Friday. We wanted to address some questions we saw regarding the VIP edition. Uh, to clarify, VIP edition contains either two foil borderless showcase cards with rare expansion symbols, or one showcase rare and one showcase mythic, not two mythic rare showcase cards. The same is true of the two regular border foil cards. The VIP edition will contain either two regular foil cards or one foil rare and one foil mythic. All right, so the meat of this, what you really need to pay attention to is talking about the foil borderless showcase cards, all right? Because they are essentially the meat of this meal. When it comes to buying a Double Masters VIP pack, the majority of the pack is garbage. You have a whole bunch of commons and uncommons that are foils that don't matter because they inserted a bunch of worthless commons and uncommons into double masters. So as a result, getting foils of them doesn't matter. Those are all zeros. Uh, the full art lands that they put in there, there's a bunch of battle for Zendikar lands, regular and hinge lands. So unless you hit like a foil and hinge land, almost all of the pack is worthless to you. Even when you get to the rares, the rares can be like jank, you can get a walking ballista that's just been banned. So the majority of the financial value of these obscenely expensive packs is nestled into that showcase like box top or rare slot. People use different terminology for it, so it gets confusing. All you need to know is the special foil full art cards that are only available in these boxes are what people are upset about because they were led to believe that they had the opportunity to get two mythics of these. Right now, there are people out there, I've actually seen people defending wizards and going, this is fine. And it's like, dude, dude, it's legitimately not fine. I mean, if you look at the back of a Double Masters VIP pack, it says that you can get two foil rares or mythics, right? Now, there's, there's a little bit of wiggle room with just that statement where you look at it and go, two foils or two mythics. It's like the way that it's pluralized doesn't automatically mean that it's you can get two mythics, but it certainly leans you strongly in that direction, thinking like, well, I mean, I should be able to get them, right? Now, people actually went so far as to contact Wizards customer support directly, right? Sending off an email saying, hey, can I get two mythic rares in the box topper slots in my VIP pack? And do you know what customer service sent back? You don't have to guess, I'll put it up on the screen for you. Look at this response, my friends. Sure looks like that's a very solid, a very solid affirmative, does it not? When you look at that, don't you go, hmm, I guess it does mean I can get two mythic rare box toppers. Now, you know what? Some people might wave that away and go, dude, you know what? Like Wizards customer service, they handle a bunch of different Wizards products. It's almost like the equivalent of a call center where they don't have like highly trained people. It's just people coming in off the street. They they only know so much and anybody can make mistakes. So, so what if a customer service representative who isn't high up in the company has said this? That doesn't that doesn't make it a fact. Sure, it doesn't look good, but it it doesn't concretely mean that, oh look, you can get two mythic two mythic box toppers, right? It's like, okay, you know what? I, I understand that position. Now, what if I was to, I'm gonna throw out a hypothetical. Let's say, for example, like maybe, maybe the head PR guy, like the dude who's in charge of public relations and hyping this sort of stuff. This guy who does, let's, let's say there's a guy named, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna throw out a random name, Blake. Let's say there's a guy who worked for Wizard of the Coast named Blake, and he's in charge of PR. And let's say he went on Twitch and said just, 
specifically in response to somebody saying, hey, can we get two Mythic Rare box hoppers? What if he came out and said, yes, that is definitely possible. Like, what if that footage existed? Oh, oh yeah, wait, that's not a, that's not a hypothetical. That's exactly what happened. Roll it! There, there's a lot of great questions, and you know, we're just gonna kinda sit here and answer as much of these, as, as many of these as we can. Uh, for the box toppers, I assume you can get a rare and a mythic. The two slots aren't related to one another. Same for the VIP boosters. Uh, yes, you can get a rare and a mythic. You can get two mythics. Ooh, ooh, that 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 looks bad, doesn't it? That it almost looks like it almost looks like we were misled. It almost looks like we were essentially directly lied to on multiple fronts when it comes to this product. And what is the most expensive, important part of it? We were just blatantly not told the truth by multiple arms of the company. And as far as I'm concerned, Wizards of the Coast is responsible for this. They have been incredibly irresponsible with the VIP Masters product here. Like it's our double Masters VIP box, however you want to call it. They, from all the different issues that we've talked about leading up to this miscommunication, miscommunication, that's only been clarified like within 48 hours of the set's full release, which is, guess what? Probably too late for a lot of people to cancel. So people are genuinely angry about this. And in all honesty, they very much have the right to be. This is absolutely unacceptable. The fact, the fact that Wizards of the Coast thinks that they can just get away with just putting out a tweet and going, hey, we wanted to, we wanted to clarify. And it's like, dude, that's what the Twitch streams were for. Like, what what even happened here? How do you get to the point where you have, like, your lower level employees are sending off responses to customers? Like, the customer cares enough that they're digging for more information, contact customer support, get told, yes, essentially buy with confidence. You can definitely get what's not available in there. And then to have the PR manager, the most well-known voice for this sort of thing, to come out and say the exact same thing. It's 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 a mind blowing. It is a mind blowing failure that they allowed this to occur. And there are literally people who are going to defend or downplay this. This is like buying a lottery ticket where they go a million dollar top prize and then go to clarify. Actually, the, the most you can get as a prize in one go is five hundred thousand dollars. And it's like, but your thing says million dollar jackpot, top prize one million dollars. Yeah, but I mean, what we've said isn't what we've said. We're, we're not bound by what we've said. This, these, these products, this VIP pack costs more. It costs more than a booster box. This is the first time Wizards has done something like this. And they've messed it up on virtually every conceivable level. It's, it's genuinely stunning. I wasn't originally intending on doing a product analysis for Double Masters or the VIP packs, but after what's happened with the VIP packs and the number of different stumbling blocks and misinformation that we've dealt with, I really feel like there is no recourse for me but to make one of these type of videos. Because I'm going to be real, it doesn't feel like other channels are critical enough of Wizards of the Coast. Some of them will try and pretend that they're not in Wizards of the Coast pocket. But any channel that you see that has any actual people working for Wizards of the Coast show up on that channel, that means that channel's in their pocket. Wizards of the Coast won't work with anybody who will be truly critical of them. Sure, there will be some people, there'll be some creators who will be mildly critical of them. They'll just be like, I'm unimpressed with the price or something like that. But nobody will really hold them to task. And you'll see it when these creators bring people from Wizards of the Coast on their channel, they will give them softball questions. They won't actually grill them on anything that matters because they know that will be bad for their channel. So there's nobody really who will stand up to Wizards of the Coast on the higher levels and say, look, what are you doing? Like Wizards of the Coast gets the benefit of the doubt for everything. There's a bunch of people who have sunk a bunch of money into the game who will go and decry, you stupid poors who are, who are unhappy about these products, you need to shut your mouth. These are for us big boys. But at the end of the day, I don't have a problem with them trying to make more expensive products. I have a problem with being lied to. I have a problem with being taken advantage of. 
Those sort of things are unacceptable. The fact that more people don't stand up and just say, Wizards, what are you doing? In the hopes that Wizards will give them some breadcrumbs of a spoiler card or whatever else is truly disheartening. I don't enjoy being the bearer of bad news, right? It's not something I enjoy. What I really want at the end of the day is to enjoy high quality cardboard rectangles with my friends. I just want to enjoy Magic the Gathering. I don't think that's unreasonable. And I feel like just incredibly frustrated when I see the way that Wizards treats the customer base. It's essentially like, it's like they know that they can abuse us because they're just gonna keep getting the money. At the end of the day, people will fork it over no matter what is said. Every step of the way, when I've talked about what's going wrong with Double Masters, I've had people come out, hand wave it away like it doesn't matter. And they'll do it for this too, where we were literally directly lied to on multiple fronts about the contents of this product. And the thing is, this isn't some lie that doesn't matter. If it was a lie that didn't impact what you could get as a result, you know what I mean? Like if they lied and said the inside of the box would be green and the inside of the box turned out to be blue. Okay, all right, sure it's a lie. Does it matter? No. But this has to do not only with the contents of the product, which is really the important part, you know, what they're actually selling you, the cards. It has not only to do with the actual contents, but the most important and most valuable part of the entire box. The reason for buying the box at all is what we were lied to about. How is that okay? How is that acceptable? The answer is it's not. This is, this is beyond unacceptable. And I, I mean, I used to do videos where I would scream and rant and rave, but the problem is, is when you do that, people tune out. They don't, they don't pick up on the message. You don't reach as many people. And then the, if, if you don't reach as many people in terms of them actually hearing what's going wrong, go, yeah, you know what? Actually, it makes perfect sense for people to be angry about this. And this isn't okay on Wizards of the Coast front. They didn't come out and say, we apologize for directly lying to you. It's, we saw some questions. We're here to clarify. Clarify, I thought the clarification was your customer service responding to questions of, can we get two mythic rares with, with like, I thought that was a clarification. Here's your answer. Yes, you can get two mythic rares. I thought going to a Twitch stream and saying, hey, can we get two mythic box toppers in our VIP packs and hearing, yes, you can get two VIP, like straight from the horse's mouth, you can get two like showcase borderless whatever the names always get twisted up mad you can get two special box topper rare, like mythic rare versions in the box it's totally possible that's the clarification this isn't clarification this is just straight up oh we lied to you dude i, I at this point i feel like i'm just going to keep repeating myself on these points either way i'm done with this i'm going to put out a full-on review of the like the double masters vip pack and my full thoughts on it, both for and against it, and I will most likely reveal, uh, release that video tomorrow. So, if you want something a little lighter, I've got a lore channel, you can go check out some magic lore over there. Again, I don't like being the bearer of bad news, but at the end of the day, I don't think there's enough voices that actually have any kind of platform speaking up about it, right? So, what are you gonna do? The world is what it is. Thanks for coming by, let me know your comments below. If you like what I'm doing, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, it's great for the channel share it all around and uh yeah i mean this has been a disappointed magic historian going i don't know what to tell you folks so uh see you next time